On this trade, I made more than $10,000. That was a return of more than 40% of my investment. And in this video, I will be doing a complete breakdown of why I took this trade. We will first start with my game plan for the day, then the technical analysis of this stock, my entries, my exits, and finally my PNL on this trade. So make sure that you guys watch this video till the end because this was a really good trade with A plus setup and A plus executions. So here's my game plan for the day that I post every single market open day on our Discord group. If you guys want access to our Discord group, the link will be in the description box below. And the amazing thing is that on this day, I was trading on voice. We trade on the voice chat one to two times a week and rest of the days we are active on the tech channel but on this day I was on voice chat and I broke this trade down from start to end. I was also holding this trade with quite a few of our members and a lot of our members were able to catch this opportunity. On this day actually I was only watching one stock. I was only watching Tesla because this is one of my favorite stocks and it also had a news just before the market opened. This stock was upgraded by a firm and that's why we were seeing a gap up on the stock in the pre-market. I was only watching one stock on this day because to be honest if you look at ES that is the S&P 500 futures we have been consolidating in between this range since the start of June, since the end of May, to be honest, because if you look at this price action, we have just been holding between this 4190 and 4070 zone for the past few days. And that is the reason a lot of the stocks are just consolidating along with the market. So we just need to wait for the market to break either side. So let's now discuss the game plan on Tesla because this stock was upgraded. As I mentioned in the pro trading floor, I even mentioned that UBS upgrades Tesla to buy announces 1100 price target. We were seeing a reaction of this news in the pre-market tesla broke 750 dollars level in the pre-market itself it made a pre-market high of approximately 753 dollars level and the prior day high was right around 749 dollars level so at the market open i want to see hold off a level like maybe 745 maybe the vwap or maybe the 750 so let's now take a look at the one minute chart and look at the pre-market action and mark our levels so here's a one minute chart of tesla from 9th of june 2022 we can see that the reaction of this news we were gapping up in the pre-market we made a pre-market high of approximately $753 level right here. I can mark this pre-market high. And then after making that pre-market high, we saw a sell-off on the futures and the overall market around 8 and 8.30 a.m. That's why Tesla also dropped. Just before the market opened, we saw a squeeze on Tesla above the VWAP and Tesla was again holding above the VWAP. And that is the reason because of the upgrade and on the daily chart as well, Tesla is looking strong for a break towards the upside. So now I have to mark my levels and see what Tesla has been doing in the pre-market. One clean level I can see is that Tesla bounced off the $740 level right here a few times. We had a bounce from 740, 740, 741 and 741 again. After breaking the 741, we found quite a few support and resistance around $744 level right here. So we found support at 744, that same level started acting as resistance right here. And we also have the VWAP right around 744 and $745 level. That's why at the market open, as a day trader, my game plan is to take it towards the upside at the hold of a level. I'm looking at 740 and 745 for potential entry points for a break of pre-market high, that is $753. Now looking at these levels, we saw a bounce of Tesla from $740 level right here. We saw a bounce towards $745. I actually caught a move on Tesla. I took one trade right here. I got stopped out on that trade, losing approximately $2,000. On the next trade, I entered at the hold of $740. I exited my trade at $745, making approximately $2,000. So on these two trades within the first five minutes of market open, I was pretty much break even. I think I was down approximately $200, $300. We will take a look at my PL a bit later but I was down approximately two three hundred dollars but after about 20 minutes of the open I caught a really good move on Tesla making 40 percent winner and making more than ten thousand dollars on that trade so let's now jump on to that trade and discuss my entries and exits but before we do that I would really appreciate a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications if you're new because it helps out the channel a lot and I'm releasing two to three new videos on day trading every single week before we jump on to the big winner of the day I would like to discuss one thing because quite a few members in our discord group they had this question because tesla was selling off why not take it towards a downside because that was a valid trade idea we saw a sell-off tesla held this 
$740 level as resistance on this candle. So if you enter at $740, you can take your partials at $735, which is still a really good trade. But I mentioned on the voice chat to our members that if you take a look at the hourly chart, because let's now take a look at the hourly chart of Tesla, remove the extended hours. You guys will be able to see that after the gap up, we are still holding strong on the hourly chart. This was the candle we were making back then. I'm going to remove all the levels right now for a second to see what hourly chart was doing. We gapped up on this day. We opened right here. We tried to fill the gap towards the downside because this was approximately the previous day close around $720 level. We tried to fill the gap and then we pushed towards the upside. So what was looking like a bearish opportunity on the one minute and the five minutes chart was looking like a bullish move on the hourly chart. So if you guys saw my last video, I posted about the support and resistance. I mentioned this point that you have to follow the top down approach. You have to first look at the daily chart, which was looking bullish. Hourly chart was looking bullish. On the five minutes and the one minute chart, it was looking like Tesla is going towards a downside. It's bearish at the market open, which is still a valid trade idea. You can scalp four to five dollars move. But if you look at the bigger picture, if you look at the daily chart and the hourly chart, Tesla was looking good towards the upside. And that is the reason I was able to score 40% winner towards the upside. Now, had I taken this trade towards a downside for the rejection of 740 to 735, that was still a good trade, but the return would have been maybe 10 or 15 or maybe 20% best case scenario but if you look at the bigger picture if you look at the hourly chart and the daily chart the levels are more critical on the higher time frames you will be able to catch a much bigger move by focusing on the higher time frames so now we are back on the one minute chart and let's mark our levels again because i just deleted those levels 740 and then i was also watching 745 dollars level 744 745 so after the market opened within the first 15 minutes the market was also selling off qqq and spy they both were selling off the overall market was kind of weak within in the first 15 20 minutes that's why we saw a sell off on tesla we pushed towards the upside we held this VWAP on this candle right here. And again, we were back above $740 level. As I mentioned, Tesla was holding $740 level in the pre-market. I was still watching the same level after the break of $740 level right here on increased volume. We can see on the red candle right here, the volume is low. On the green candle, the volume is high. So it's the opposite. We are kind of looking bullish because on the green candles, the volume is high. On the red candles, the volume is low. Even if you look at this push towards a downside, this was on low volume. So this push is not supported by a lot of volume or maybe by a lot of traders. That's why on the push up, the push up is supported by a lot of volume. That's why when you're day trading, looking at the volume, looking at the tape, looking at the market depth, it's very, very important. And these can definitely help you increase your win percentage when you are day trading. So at the break of $740 level, I entered my position right here on this red candle. My entry was at 9.49 a.m. candle. This candle when Tesla was holding around 7.41, my stop loss was the break and hold under $739 level. I entered 20 contracts. I was trading 750 calls, same week expiry contracts, and my fill price was 11.97 on this candle with a stop loss under maybe 739. If we close under 740, if I see a sell off on the tape, I'm going to exit my position. So my stop loss on this trade was really, really tight. I will post a screenshot of my fills right at the top. My entry was at 11.97. Worst case scenario, my premiums would have gone to maybe $11. So I was expecting to lose worst case scenario $2,000 on this trade. Trade, that means $100 a contract if we go to $739. But I made more than $10,000 on this trade. That was a return of more than five. So that means the reward to risk ratio is more than five to one. I made more than $10,000 by risking only $2,000, which is an A plus setup in my opinion. Now I will show you guys the recording of my trade just to show you guys my entry. I won't discuss the exits on the recording because I exited my last contract right here. So that will be 20, 25 minutes long video. So just just to show you guys my entry because the level two was really good around the hold of $740 level. So here's the recording of my trade on Tesla. As I mentioned, the volume increased on this push above the VWAP. You can see the increase in volume, red candles, low volume, green candles, high volume. So that means the bullish move is supported by volume. On the pullback to 740, around 741, I placed my order to get filled. I got filled 20 contracts, 750 calls, and my fill price was 11.97. So my entry was at 9.49 a.m. and this is 9.50 a.m. candle. We can see that briefly we dipped under $740 level, but we are not seeing that aggressive sell-off. We are not seeing a lot of red on the time and sales, and suddenly we saw the bid step back above $740 level. The big orders are going through above 740 right here, 1,000 shares, 25 
500 shares. We only had a few orders. If you look at the bottom of your screen, we only had a few orders go through under $740 level, few big orders, but most of the orders are going through above $740 level. That's why when I took this trade, my stop loss was the break of 739. But when I saw this on the tape, I was pretty confident about this trade because a lot of the big players, a lot of the big traders, they want Tesla to hold above $740 level. So let's now jump on to my exits because my exits on this trade were really, really good. I held on to my winner like a boss because my entry was right here. The prior high of the day was approximately 748.75. When Tesla rejected 749, 748.75, I took five contracts out at a fill price of 14.06. And if you guys ask me why not take the whole position out because I caught a really good move in my favor. This could, this was easy like $6,000 trade because my entry was at 12 and the premiums are approximately at 14 or 15. So I would have easily made four to $5,000 of my position by risking $2,000. That was still a good trade, but I was expecting a pullback because right above the high of the day, we have $750 level. So this pullback is kind of expected and it's also healthy for the price action. If you see a pullback, on low volume right here, the volume decreased on this pullback just before the break of a critical level. It's healthy for the price action. That's why I held through this pullback. I held on to my 15 contracts at the break of high of the day when we got the break of $750 level. That was approximately the high of the day and a good psychological level as well. I took another five contracts out at 9.50, 9 a.m. candle right here around 7.52 at a fill price of 16.00. So by this candle, I was out 10 of my contracts. I took 20 contracts. I was still holding 10 of my contracts. On this next push towards the upside, I took another five contracts out at a premium price of 18, 19.00. I was taking one one contract partial out so by this candle i was out 15 of my contracts again for the remaining five contracts because i'm out 15 of my contracts i held through this pullback because i was expecting this pullback again if you guys look at the volume the volume is pretty low on this pullback so again this is healthy for the price action after this post down we squeezed towards the upside i took another two three contracts out at a fill price of 21 finally i took my last contract out at a fill price of 23.89 at 10 30 a.m. candle that was approximately this candle around $764 level, which was an amazing trade because I practically caught the top of the day, the high of the day, because if we focus on the price action later in the morning, that was the high of the day. The high of the day was approximately 766. My exit was at 755, last partial. Overall, making more than $10,000 on this trade, which was a return of approximately 43% of my investment. My entry was right here at $740 level, and I caught basically the high of the day. That's why this was a really good trade. A plus trade idea, A plus entry and A plus exits. So now let's take a look at my PNL. My first two trades, I lost approximately $2,000 on my first trade. I made $2,000 on my second trade. So overall, I was kind of break even prior to my third trade. The third trade on Tesla was the big winner for the day. My entry was at 9.49 a.m. and my last partial exit was at 10.30 a.m. That means I held on to my position for approximately 40 minutes which is a big deal because usually I am a scalper. I like to scalp $5 to $10 move, maybe $15, and I like to exit my position, maybe holding that trade for 10-15 minutes, best case scenario. But on this trade, this is a big step up in my own trading as well because I was able to hold my winner for 14 minutes. Overall, making $10,000 within the first one hour of market open. I only traded from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Making more than $10,000 is like a dream come true, and that is the beauty of day trading that's it guys but if you guys are as amazing as this trade was make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new and hit the bell notifications because i'm releasing two to three new videos on day trading every single week i already posted about this day on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram you're already late to the party the link will be in the description box below thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video